Hello, today I want to talk about the uh, KL divergency and before starting it, uh, let's recap the entropy, the last class topic. And the entropy term is like this and we call the HX as uh, entropy and entropy is a variety of information quantities and uh, this uh, we uh, handles the var random variable x and this x have a probability in the px and the px the probability and the entropy hx has an inverse proportional relation for example uh, for example if px is high then the the hx is negative, uh, lower because the information we don't get information a lot in high probability and by this uh, way this in this formation and this formation has a negative okay so if we want to uh, know about the entropy and uh, please read it this or the last lecture video okay and today's class we will talk about the uh, KL divergence okay let's look into the KL divergence with the above example and we can define KL divergence formula like this this fourth equation and fifth equation and maybe you can uh, figure out that this KL divergence form is similar to entropy, right? But the difference is the KL divergence have uh, two variables, P1x and P2x. And actually, this uh, KL divergence has meaning of the um, calculating difference between the P1 distribution and P2 distribution, okay? All formulas have range of uh, uh, greater than zero and actually is equal to zero if p1x and p2x. Uh, it means that uh, p1x, uh, p1 distribution and p2 distribution has no difference and the value is zero. And if the distribution have too much difference, then its uh, value uh, become bigger and bigger. It's it right? So we can think that it is similar to distance between two distribution, but we just call it divergency because we cannot guarantee KL P1X P2X and KL P2X P1X. Uh, in other words, it doesn't have a, a symmetry, right? Okay, then let's see another example. Uh, we look into these three distribution P1x, P2x, and P3x. Surely, as you see, P1 and P2x has a similar distribution, but P1 and P3x uh, doesn't have a similar distribution. And uh, you can guess that uh, between two, KL divergence is small, and uh, between P1 and P3x KL divergence may be large. Okay, let random variable x have different probability distribution. P1x and P2x have similar distribution, right? And P1x and P3x don't. Then calculate KL divergence between P1 and P2x. First, you can calculate it by from the left okay first is 0 0.1 multiplied by log 2 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1 okay you can just assign the value into this formulation into formula okay and second is 0 0.4 multiplied by log 2 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.5 and you can continue the math and can get the 
0.037 between P1 and P2 and between P1 and P3 you can get 1.2 okay and as your guess Mm. Okay. This k this k divergence has a large value, and actually, this uh, distribution p one x and p three x uh, has a, a much difference between uh, comparing to p one and p two distribution, right? So this k l divergence has a large result. Okay, then next, by this characteristic, uh, we use uh, another application, for example, mutual information with the KL divergency. With the KL divergency, we can see the mutual information between two random variables, X and Y. Mutual information indicates how much two variables are dependent or independent? Let me suppose that random variable x and y are have a distribution of px and py. If x and y are independent, pxy equal pxpy, right? Accordingly, they don't have any dependency. On the other hand, if difference between joint distribution PXY and PXPY is larger and larger, they become more dependent. Thus, KL divergence of PXY and PXPY measures the dependence of X and Y. So you can uh, practice with this formula and it's the same uh, theory of uh, KL divergence and uh, the difference between this uh, formula and this formula, uh, this formula is uh, this parameter, right? So you can uh, measure the dependency between two between x and y. Okay. Another example is in the classification problems, which state is better that KL divergence is large or small? Okay, the answer is large because if KL divergence is large, then their distribution is far apart and it is to classify. Okay, and another example is if you add a new feature, then calculate the KL divergence between old feature data and new one. If the value is too small, they have a dependent and may not useful. Okay, it's a, a redundancy. Okay, and the next topic is the order of KL divergence. Is order important in KL divergence? In KL divergence of KL P1x P2x, many use P1x as label or true and P2x as a prediction, okay? In a point of P1x is zero, regardless of P2x value is zero, uh, you can guess that by this term, if P1x is zero, all term will be gone, right? So that is, don't care the prediction in a point where true value doesn't exist. Okay, look into this graph, if Px is a label and Qx is prediction, and uh, ignore this uh, legend, and this green uh, label, a green graph is Px and the blue one is prediction, then greater than about three value point will be zero in KL divergence because uh, greater than 3, all distribution value is 0, right? So, Px is 0. On the other hand, in reverse KL divergence, don't care the point where prediction value doesn't exist, okay? 
the reverse KL divergence term is KL P to X P one X, and the point the P to X is zero, then that point the true level is not important because this term will be gone as a zero. Okay. Until now, I uh, talk about the KL divergence, and actually, uh, you're very familiar with this uh, formula because bef uh, last class we handled the entropy, and KL divergence term includes the entropy, and the other term is actually cross entropy, and if you're studying the deep neural deep, deep learning then you're very familiar with cross entropy okay so we usually use it as a loss function the cross entropy as you may know uh, we use the cross entropy in the KL divergence the entropy is this term and KL divergence uh, we handled is this term and uh, the cross entropy is this term okay actually the relation is KL divergence is equal to entropy plus L uh, actually is the plus because cross entropy itself has a negative term okay I will um, I'll rev revise it okay and what is the P1X and P2X in Muso? P1X is label, as I mentioned, and P2X is prediction. So maybe you do, do you get feel for the reason why we use cross entropy as a loss function? Actually, KL divergence and cross entropy has the same meaning in a loss function. So you don't need to you don't need the entropy because it's a constant, right? So therefore we use just cross entropy rather than KL divergence. For example, in the binary classification problem, you have ever used it as a loss function, the cross entropy. And uh, instead of log 2, we use the ln. And uh, you can uh, do the math by this term as a uh, partial derivative, derivative, derivatives and you can get easily get this uh, result okay that's it we have a look through the entropy and KL divergence and cross entropy and if you have a question feel free to ask me thank you